Hello everyone and YouTubers, we are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today I want to tell you how to use CNCC Laser X software. So this software uh, is a basic software for engraving that goes with uh, most Chinese Gantis chassis. We also purchased them from uh, Laser X uh, partner and we install powerful lasers. So you need to connect before you start working with this. So if you have issues with running CNCC Laser X, please check driver. We also have different drivers. They are all stored. Um, you can go on our website over here. Um, um, yeah, download center here, then click and you appear here. So we, we all have it here. It's uh, CNCC that you might need Microsoft.net driver. And if you have any questions, please email to support uh, is x customizecom so it's their responsibility. Okay, once we launch the software, I want to sh uh, show you a few live hacks how you can engrave a logo. Let's open a logo and I can show you some issues. For example, we have a good logo quality, but uh, let me show you before a uh, bad quality logo and uh, what you need to know before making it. So, for example, you have a basic logo like this. It it has black and white, and you do process it. So, for example, you can you would like to have grayscale like this. So, if you want a grayscale, then you select uh, this example, and now you can see that it has some some artifacts like this, and this is not really black. So. Uh, you can also process it it's a bit different and now you can also see some issues so it's not perfect once you want to create and uh, make your own uh, logo please make sure that you have a perfect image before so you need to process it in photoshop before that so we we really suggest you do so so this is actually processed image and let me show you how you can process the image. So now you'll see much better quality and uh, so actually black will be fully black and this gray is, uh, is most more likely gray. Um, this is the first variant of uh, this processing. You can highlight uh, outline and then you'll also see it's it, it's in a pretty good condition. Then you can adjust size, for example, like this, and run it. And yeah, you can also see some some artifacts here. And uh, then you need to change something in some some other scenario, for example, like this. Then you also change, uh, yeah, uh, you also change the size of it. For example, uh, you make it smaller, and now we are ready to go and to create a G code. Also, before creating a G code, please you you can adjust a print speed, and uh, for example, let's put it 500 here. Now we create a G code based on this image, so it actually vectorizes the image, and then we'll go to G code. So you can see it looks pretty good. It's, uh, it means that it has different lines. So to engrave this size of logo with a size like 49 millimeters probably will take from two to three minutes if you have 3.5 watt or 5.6 watt laser. Then you just run and engraver will do everything. One, one important thing, if you wanna do change something, for example, intensity of your power and power output. So you need to do it here and also change the period of uh, burning time. Then you need to create a new uh, logo once again. So every time you, sp you stop or you want to change something, you need to create another G code like this. So what is the problem to run uh, with, with a basic bitmap image, with a uh, raster image? You can also do this. So if you have a basic image like this, uh, let me show you. So you can you can uh, run it and adjust these parameters even while you do engraving. But the thing is that it takes a lot of time. So it will be line after line, line after line. Probably will take about 20 or maybe 25 minutes to engrave out of a bitmap. 
So we really suggest you to use a vectorized image. Uh, I actually like the, the, this, uh, this uh, scenario when you can um, have uh, make it like this. Um, also, like I said, you probably can change a size and we'll see the size at the end. So you, we need to generate a G-code just to, to make sure how it will look like at the end. You see the pass and speed, so it'll be maximum speed if you if you uh, process an image like this. Let's see what will be at the end. Um, you, you can also run different, yeah, you can see the G-code is not perfect here. You see this these uh, lines and they're really, really not uh, circles. They have some, something that terrible. Probably you need uh, another example, another another G code, uh, another image to to run it. For example, you can do you can uh, make different and select a different image. Maybe remove something that is not important, and then if you process it and you have it like this, or you also can put a size like like uh, 48 millimeters. That is initial. Now you can see that it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, now you can create an image. It'll be very fast. Probably to engrave this size will take less than a minute or so. Well, you still see that some letters are not perfect, and probably you can um, you can also change something in Photoshop to make sure. Yeah, for example, a grayscale. But uh, for grayscale, I would really suggest you to to do something like this when you have a field um, that is filled inside. Will be pretty good. I mean, uh, you simplify the logo, and now you see it like this. So the final image will be really like this. So I believe that you can run uh, it on the computer and process an image like this. So once again, if you want a grayscale, you can run a vector or a raster or bitmap image, and then you can start it from here and change parameters like burn time and power just while you do engraving. Just click a pause, then start and you can do all changes. If you run a G-code, then you need also TTL uh, to turn on, means that um, you can have a grayscale, but the thing is that when you run G-code, it's always the same, so you cannot adjust power while you do engraving. Also, you change the speed over here, um, generate a G code, and uh, yeah, a new G code with a new speed is ready to go. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you about uh, using CNCC LaserX software. So you just need to um, need to know these things when you open, you process the image, and convert a G code. Different settings where you you can use them, but they're not so important. For example, this one is like a weak power, is a minimum for laser, but this is a uh, high power, and this is a problem because you cannot actually see it here. Chinese guys, they didn't think that uh, screens could be smaller. So if you change it, then you need to save. So it's not so convenient. I also do not recommend to change anything here, like speed of stepper motors, etc. So it's it's not uh, it's not that important. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it for for the software. So, guys, um, if you wanna have if you have any questions, please uh, email me at gf at endurancerobots.com or you can text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three zero two or just simply uh, visit our website that is endurance uh, laser endurance robots.com and we have it also endurance uh, lasers.com and we're ready to help you if you have any issues with running uh, software and please uh, remind that uh, we make lasers we're not responsible for software we just know how to deal with that we know how to help you guys to make nice engravings and this is actually what we did on one on our festival when we showed to our potential customers um, we made engravings on events just showing them and, and making you see smiling faces of nice girls who made portraits like this and different nice engravings uh, families and friends and uh, yeah, you can see that you can do actually magnificent things with our powerful diode laser engraving machines so hope that you like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe on our channel and have a wonderful day bye bye